have in front of me an outdoor PIR sensor. Basically, the idea is to detect motion uh, in a certain lighting condition and to trigger an event, normally a light coming on. So if we look at this here, it's IP44 rated, okay? Um, the beam angle here and the adjustment that is 120 degrees, okay? So you can just see that, how it rotates on it. Um, so how would we mount it? Well, we mount it directly onto a wall like this. Um, and what I'm after doing already is I've just removed the screw and this little grommet that was here, okay, little cover. And what we can do here is we can just slide this off now. And what we can see inside is we could use this, we could drill this out, and we could actually run a, um, a drill it and mount it directly onto the wall, okay? And uh, this is where the screw holds this in, into place here. And this is where we can come along. And there's a little wiring diagram given here in terms of how it wiring, wire it. And we can see actually there's a little grommet here we can burst out for running in the cable. So it's rated up to 500 watts. So it could, um, it can, it can work in conjunction with something that's using up to 500 watts. Uh, so the normal application on it, of course, would be something like an outdoor light, but there is other possible applications on it to trigger some type of an event. Um, in relation to uh, the adjustability on it, uh, there's two sensors that we have here, apart from adjusting the angle. So the first thing here is we can adjust the length. That'll come on first. So we can adjust it here from, the, from a, a, max, a minimum to a maximum here. Uh, so we can ha uh, set the timing on it. So that's very easily done. And the setting there is on it. And we can also adjust the look setting on it here. So we can uh, say that we want it to work in, um, you know, set, uh, dark, semi-dark, shaded type of conditions when we want it to kick into action. Um, so it, it sits really well, particularly if people have come along and they've installed outdoor lights already and they've decided that they don't want to have it on a timer, they don't want to have it uh, always operate by the switch, so they want motion in the area to turn it on. It saves having to go and buy an LED light with a sensor built in already. You can actually just retrofit this directly onto it and it's a much easier process. So we have an indoor version of this, so it's part of a much wider range of electrical goods, etc. Uh, this particular unit itself is available with low-cost shipping uh, and it's found on the free TV. .ie website.